Charlie, you want to be in it? It's your one chance at fame here. Sure. <laughs> the, the streets in Manhattan are, they're synchronized. You know, the lights are synchronized, so uptown, downtown is easy. You just got to stay at 32 miles an hour. Crosstown is harder because they're not synchronized crosstown. But what I found was there was a natural, every seven blocks, there was a natural sort of occurrence where the, the lights approximately lined up the same way they do uptown, downtown. It was like a video game. I knew how to never stop. I knew if I turned left on 75th Street going about 40 miles an hour on the side street that when I hit Fifth Avenue the light would just be about to turn yellow and then red. So I banged my turn and halfway up the block was a big old Rolls Royce driving along real slow. And um, so I got up to him and got on his tail and gave him a friendly beep beep, kind of like, let's, let's go, we'll, you know, it's time to go. It wasn't a, a mean beep beep, it was just like, hey, I'm here. And he, the guy's he, he rearview mirror looked at me and hey, slowed down. I caused you work, I ripped this. And uh, it was like, and the lights started blinking. You get 11 blinks on the crosswalk light before the light turns yellow. So six, seven, eight, and I beeped him again and he slowed down even more. And then we were close to the light and right when the, the light changed to yellow, he gunned it in his Rolls Royce and left me sitting at the light. Like, screw you. And that made me mad because it's just an imaginary boundary, a red light. It's not real. He thought it was real. And he thought he was doing something. So I, I had to show him that it, that red light wasn't real. So I just blew the red light, came around the corner and pen, pinned him in, in his Rolls Royce at the and next light, because he was sitting at the next light. Pinned him in. And I was just going to give him a good talking to. And I looked inside the Rolls Royce, and sitting at the wheel was Paul Simon. Uh, and without any thought or any computation of the idea in my mind, I looked at him and said, Hey, Paul, slow down. You move too fast. Which is a line from one of his songs. And I, you know, I don't know where it came from. I don't listen to Paul Simon, per se. It just came flying into my mind from like a, a source of higher justice in the universe. <laughs> and I, he just kind of stared at me for a minute. And then I drove away. It was a beautiful experience. Uh, it was like the universe was all in perfect order. The universe made sense.